House of Representatives has queried the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation over its inability to provide evidence of expenditures made in the 2019 and 2020 budgets. Its Public Accounts Committee has now given the office one week to provide supporting documents for all expenses incurred. National Assembly correspondent Jokadisa has details. The Office of the Auditor General for the Federation is empowered by law to undertake audits of all income and expenditure of the federal government. In the same vein, Order 1806 of the Standing Order of the House of Representatives mandates the Public Accounts Committee to oversee the Office of the Auditor General for the Federation. It is in furtherance of that responsibility that members of the committee are the Audit House. The chairman of the committee says being the only government agency its committee oversees, the welfare and well-being of the workers are key. We'll be looking at your premises. We'll be looking at the materials, tools and equipment that you have to use to be able to perform. The Auditor General for the Federation presents the performance levels of the 2019 and 2020 budgets, highlighting a number of challenges. These include depleted workforce of more than 500, lack of office space, and shortage of operational vehicles. We have been doing amendments since the uh, acquisition of this building. The first was to roof, complete the roofing, and that cost us 28.8 million. The tempers flare as the meeting progresses when lawmakers query the figures before them. You audit all the ministries, the agencies, everything you audit. Who audits this office? Who calls to order the recklessness of the, of the, of the uh, financial uh, spending of this office? I would like to move that Auditor General avail this committee all payment vouchers used for this total expenditure. The Auditor General for the Federation takes exception to allocation of reckless spending by its office. The lawmakers queried the use of 331.45 million naira, representing 99.98% of the 331.53 million naira allocated to local travels and transport, as well as the 25.26 million naira on international travels and transport in a COVID-19 year. Jokayadza, TVC News, Abu.